over here by the pigs. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh. No, the pigs don't sound too happy about that. Uh, OK, sorry. How about over here with the horses? In the horse's stable. Eh? No? Oh, OK. Oh, of course. Over here at the dog kennel. <laughs> <laughs> a dog lives in a kennel, just like Digger in Big Barn Farm. OK, they're worth it. This cattle, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky. Yeah, she this is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves it to bite. And eats too much. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey in the dash. It got in trouble yeah, in a flash. Yeah. This is Digger, yeah. he's a happy little pup. Isn't he cute? Dead right. Can he bark? Not quite. <laughs> and when you put them all together... It's early in the morning. The whole of Big Barn Farm is sleeping. The sun's rising above the hills, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for Lester. It's Lester. And here comes the wake-up call from Lester the Cockerel. Come on, Lester. You can do better than that. It's time to get everyone up. <laughs> it looks like Lester might have lost his voice. <laughs> so who's going to wake the farmer? Because the farmer needs to get up so that he can collect the Mrs Chicken's eggs. He should have been here by now. That's an outrage. <laughs> and the sheep are waiting to be moved to the far field. Mrs Snuffles and her piglets need feeding. Where's our food? We're extremely hungry. Madame needs the farmer to milk her. Ooh la la! Hurry up! Hurry up! But one thing is quite clear after all this fuss. Is that the time? Nobody wants another morning like this when the farmer doesn't wake up. So Lester's sore throat had better get better soon. And luckily for Lester, Petal, Gobo, Dash and Digger have some ideas on how to cure a sore throat. We should get him to gargle like this. <laughs> I know. I know what to do. You have to rub a dock leaf on his throat. That's for when you get stung by a nettle. Nice try, Digger. When I'm not feeling very well, Mum wraps me up in blankets and tells me bedtime stories. And rubs you with a dock leaf? No! no. So they decide to try Petal's idea. And the beautiful princess and the handsome prince lived happily ever after. Is your sore throat better now? No. Oh. Don't give up yet. Dash has an idea to help Lester's sore throat. A lemon? Dash is sure he's heard of this before. It's called a hot lemon treatment. Hop over the lemon and that'll make your sore throat better. Hmm, are you sure about this, Dash? <laughs> the Mrs Chickens are wondering what on earth is going on. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Lester shall be drinking hot lemon, not hopping over a lemon! <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing else has worked, so Digger thinks he might as well give Lester's poorly throat a rub with the dock leaf. <laughs> Try it, Lester. Oh, oh. No, no, thanks. I can hardly hear Lester at all now. Oh, dear. <coughs> so that means no one will hear his wake up call tomorrow. <coughs> What's that noise? 
Perhaps it's the tractor? Is it the tractor? No, the tractor makes a chuggy noise. Ah, maybe it's the postman beeping his horn. What do you think? No, it's not the postman's van. Maybe it's Madame singing. Oh, ooh la la, I sound better than that. Have a listen. Mm, I'm not so sure, Madame. Is it the van that sells cold sweet stuff that children like? Yes, that's what's making the noise. Uh, I think it's called an I Scream Van. Children always scream and shout when they see it. And it's the loudspeaker on the top that's making the music sound really loud. If we had a loudspeaker thingy like that, we'd definitely be able to make Lester sound louder. That might work, Petal, but you don't have any loudspeakers. So it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> Lester decides that he can't let the farm sleep in again. Someone will have to stand in for him and give the morning wake-up call. <laughs> me! 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 me. 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 I can do it. Do it. Listen to me. me. Me first. <clears throat> cock a doodle ee No. <laughs> Check this out. cock a doodle me. <laughs> no! Listen to this. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> I'm the best. Cock a doodle. Oh, oh, oh. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. What a noise. Poor old Lester can't stand it anymore. Quiet. <laughs> well, that won't have made his sore throat better, will it? But Lester has an idea. A contest? That's Ooh. right, Petal. A uh, contest uh, to find out who has the best early morning wake-up call. <laughs> well, Petal, Gobo, Dash and Digger should be rehearsing and practising. But unfortunately, all their loud cock-a-doodle-doodling has left them with sore throats. Uh, my throat's tired. Oh, so's mine. They'll need to rest their voices. They nearly sound as croaky as Lester. But Digger has a brilliant idea. Which doesn't happen that often. Digger knows they may have sore throats, but they can use other things to make noises for the contest. Hmm, what's that? Petal, Gobo and Dash think Digger's idea is a good one. So now they all need to find something noisy for the contest. So who will be chosen to give tomorrow morning's wake-up call? The contest is about to start and the audience is waiting. The judges are Madame... Bonjour! Mrs Snuffles... Oh, hello! And, of course, Lester. Hurry up with it! So who's going to be first to perform in the contest? Here's Digger! <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, what a racket. Painful to listen to, isn't it? Well, Digger hasn't gone down too well with the audience. I wonder what the judges made of it, though. Oh, terrible. It sounds like the time Mac the horse accidentally trod on a Mrs. Chicken's foot. Oh, it does as well. Do you remember that? I've still got the bruise. 
Oh dear. Well, let's hope Dash can do a bit better. He's had a bit of help fixing the bell to the wall, but he's got very bad stage fright. He's very, very nervous. Um, good morning. Afternoon. Uh, Afternoon. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, um, well, uh... And Dash is so nervous, uh, he just pulls the bell too hard. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, is that it? Uh, thank you. Now it's Petal's turn. She's bound to be a hit with the audience. Oh, this is the best one so far, I think. <laughs> mm. Catchy tune too. She's so talented. Um, mm, that is good, but let us hear some more. Uh, oh dear, poor Petal doesn't realise that the radio's batteries have run out. So there's only one more of the farmyard bunch to go. And just look at that drum kit he set up. Go, 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 Bo! bashes his drum kit so hard that... Oops! 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 We want to be woken up, not frightened in our beds. Oh. Gobo's drum kit was maybe a bit too noisy. And anyway, he can't use it again. He's completely demolished it. So who will give the cockadoodle do tomorrow? Digger and his squeaky toys? No. Dash and his bell? Useless. Petal and her radio. Maybe. <laughs> Without new batteries, that's a no as well. So it must be... It's me. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> the judges thank the four friends for trying their best, but none of them sound quite as good as a proper morning cockadoodle do. Lester just needs to get a bit more oomph into his voice and make it sound louder. So the farmer will wake up in the morning. If only we had one of those loudspeaker thingies like on the ice cream van. Hmm. The next day arrives and... <laughs> Whoa! It sounds like Lester's sore throat is better. Or has he got a little bit of help? <laughs> Clever lot! The farmyard bunch have made Lester his own loudspeaker so that everyone can hear him. <laughs> He's very pleased with it. And as a thank you, Lester lets Petal, Gobo, Dash and Digger join him for that morning's final... cock that's all for now. See you again soon down on Big Barn Farm. This is Petal, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky. But she never misbehaves. This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to play. And eats all day. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey named Dash. If you're in trouble, oh, yeah. in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. In and out the pond. Is gossip, gossip, all day long. My dad is French and lovely. And we all know who goes cock a doodle doo. Mrs. Snapples and her piglets come to play. And on pot, make sure that everyone is safe. Who's the tallest of them all? It's the horse. And last, not least, their friends. Now you've seen them all together. They'll be friends forever down on the upper <laughs> Once upon a time, the Telly Tales on CBeebies brought joy to the world. Everyone loved these stories so much, they wanted more. So they imagined more. Stories of faraway lands.